Hello, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today it's Tuesday and I am just finished work for the day. Usually not much happens on a Tuesday other than, you know, walking the dog after work. But today we're gonna have some pals on our walk. Holly's gonna join us with little Rose. So Rose is Holly's little Yorkshire Terrier. She's cute. She is gonna be so small next to Casper. It's gonna be quite funny actually. It's gonna be the first time that the two of them have met so that'll be quite cute. We'll get to see how they get on. I hope they can be friends. Yeah I hope they get on. We're going to go out for a little walk in Nubra today with the pups. Let them play. Casper is usually really good with small dogs. He'll just he'll sort of sit down on the floor and kind of let them jump all over him and stuff. I think he understands his size so he'll like lie on his back and he'll just let them just let them run all over him. So hopefully that is what will happen. He'll be fine with it and he won't squish her. Hopefully Rose likes him because um, he's a puppy and Rose is... Rose is getting on. She's she's an old little pup and yeah. Old dogs don't really like Casper because he's far too hyper. Yeah, I'm excited to see how they get on. I'm not sure how long the walk will be. I don't know how long Rose actually gets. <laughs> I think Casper might need longer. I might have to take him out again like once I'm back from Nubra or just extend my walk around Nubra. That's today. I don't know if I've got much else planned until the weekend. On Saturday I have a virtual wedding so my cousin's actually getting married. Um, Originally obviously it was meant to be an actual in-person wedding but with coronavirus and obviously they didn't want to postpone it. They wanted to celebrate some way on the day so they are actually having like a virtual ceremony where there'll be a select few people actually on the day and the rest of us all just be watching virtually with a glass of Prosecco in our hands cheersing to the new bride and groom. So that'll be nice, get dressed up and things like that and then in two years time they're actually gonna have their proper wedding. That'll be a nice way to spend a Saturday, a bit different. Yeah, that is what the plans involve so far. We're almost halfway through the week. Not mad at it, not mad at it. I'm gonna go get ready and go and see Holly. Hi, it's now Friday. I am finished for the day. It's the weekend. So what have I got on at the moment? Probably should give you a little rundown. So the clips that you'll see, um, it's not the best clips, I do apologise. It was dark and I had my phone. And my phone camera seems to be really bad at the moment. It used to be quite good, but it's definitely gone down in quality. I don't know how that happens, but it has. So you'll see some clips of me and Holly on Tuesday. We went out for walks with the dogs. So I took Casper, she took little Rose. And yeah, Rose wasn't really keen. Rose was not keen. It was a lot. It was a long walk for Rose as well. We had to put Rose back in and then take Casper out longer because he needs he needs more. He is a puppy. He's a big puppy. He needs lots of walks. Yeah, that was good day. It's Friday. Yeah, it's the weekend again. It's actually been. Has it been a quick week? It's kind of been a quick week. Yeah, it's been a quick week. Yeah. So now I don't actually know what the plan is. I was going to be making tea for tonight for the whole family. But I think we're maybe just getting like Marky's curries or something now. That was kind of my plans, but we'll see how that goes. I think I want to go to like Tesco, places like that. Nothing exciting. I want to pick up some new books because I finished my book. Just finished this book. So this is Fix You by Kari Elks. Yeah, it's okay. I would say it's like a three out of five, I'd say. It's not awful, but it's not great either. It's a very easy read. Yeah, it's a love story, essentially. The people that meet when they're young and life just keeps them apart, keep coming back to each other and they keep getting pushed apart again. Yeah, basically about their love story. Romance, heartbreak, all that sort of stuff. Can't complain. It's another book I've read. But I am storming through the books. I haven't read this much in a long time and I'm really enjoying it. So I want to go pick up some new books because I have no more books in this house to read. <laughs> and... I'm itching to get started on a new one. So if I do pick up some, I will show you what I get. I thought I would chuck on a little bit of lipstick. I saw this one sitting in the bottom of my makeup bag and I was like, do you know what? I've not worn that in a long time. I want to take it out. In the last video, you'll have seen that I was at the John Lewis event. I was showing you their Christmas collection, the Dior Christmas collection. And actually this lipstick is from part of their Christmas collection a good few years ago now, maybe like three years ago maybe three years ago and it is the Diorific Coal. So it's one of their powder lipsticks um, in this sort of bullet. Sorry it's filthy, it's been at the bottom of my makeup bag for a long time because I've not used it honestly probably since last year so a very autumnal colour, very Christmassy. It's applied not good because I couldn't find the right colour lip liner to go with this. I don't know where any of my lip liners are. It's not good. But anyway this is in 991. Bold Amethyst I think is the colour and yeah I love this. 
this is so cool. It's a different sort of texture to a usual lipstick and it's like powder, which I think gives it a little bit more staying powder than a sort of like a smooth, you know, that usual, that usual type. Yeah, I just thought it was a bit different and like the bullet came, it was like pointed almost. It's really cool. It's just a little bit different and I love this colour. Very much like a deep purple. It's almost black. This was a firm fave back in the day. Vampy. It's vampy. I used to love these colours. So yeah, I thought I'd crack it back out, which I'm now kind of regretting because I'm away to put a mask on to go out and about. And this colour is obviously going to transfer, like, there's no doubt about that. It probably wasn't my smartest move, but I do love this. Also, look at the packaging. I mean, it's gorgeous. That is like a collector's piece. So, so nice. So I'm just back from the shops. Turns out I am making tea tonight. So everyone else is out at the moment. So I am on, on cook dinner duty. So I'm gonna make, originally I was just gonna make like a pasta, pasta bake. I thought I'd mix it up and we're gonna have gnocchi bake. So I'm gonna have like a bolognese sort of gnocchi cheesy bake. I've made pasta bakes and everything before, but I've not made it with gnocchi, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. It's been a while since I've cooked properly. We'll see how it goes. So we've got like a couple flatbread, got a cheese flatbread, uh, a garlic flatbread to have alongside it. Yeah, we've got all the all the ingredients. Yeah, we've got the flatbread, we've got the gnocchi, some mints, which we're actually using real mints today because my family eat real mints. If I was just making it for myself, I would definitely have corn. Got the chopped tomatoes, some mushrooms, courgettes, onion, puree, peppers, blah, 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 spinach, cheese, and we've got some red wine stock pots, and we've got some beef stock. All the spices that I'm gonna use, and cheese, and yeah, we are gonna, we're gonna see what happens. But before I get into the cooking, I thought I'd show you some of the other bits that I picked up. Put you down here. I'll just sit like this. So first off, we went to Home Bargains and they had some other Christmas pet stuff in. So I picked up just little stocking, stocking filler type things for Casper. I don't like spending lots of money on toys for him because, hello, hello, sit down. He, he rips up his toys. So I bought this one, which was like 250 or something. I know you want it, but it's not for you. It is not for you, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I thought that was really cute. A little gingerbread man with the rope feet. So he can destroy this part, but at least this part, it'll, it'll last a little bit longer. And then I got, now this one is for you. I bought two of these and these are Christmas pudding, sort of, I know, Christmas pudding balls, I suppose. And they squeak. I thought these were cute. They feel kind of hard as well. So I don't think Casper will be able to destroy that straight away. So I bought one of them each for their Christmases. And then we went to Tesco and I picked up a couple books. Legs are getting sore doing that. Yeah, I picked up a couple books. So I went for Where the Crawdads Sing. I've heard this is a good one. So I'm excited to give that a go. I didn't even read the blurbs. I literally just saw the books and picked them up. I've seen them recommended and stuff. So we're just going to hope that these are good. And I've gone for the family upstairs. I think this is gonna be more my scene. I think I'll enjoy this one a lot. It's the books. And finally, also from Tesco, I got a little hat. You're gonna see me wearing this on dog walks. This has got stars on it. Again, if you don't know, I like stars. And I thought it was just really cute, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> I probably could have put that on better right now, but yeah, it's got little stars and a bobble on it. So I thought that was sweet. Good day's purchases. I'm happy with them, but let's get on to the food. I have a glass of gin already waiting for me. I actually quite enjoy cooking, so I thought, why not have a gin? Um, I was gonna light a candle, but I can't find the, the lighter. <laughs> so we're not having a candle today. I'm just, just gonna get on with it. So we've got the gnocchi all ready to go. We've got the sauce on the hob, and I've also grated some cheese, almost there. And then it'll go in the oven for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Oh my goodness, it's, it's a lot later now. That took me bloody ages. It's in the oven. It's probably got like 10 minutes to go. I've just chucked the flatbreads in. I'm knackered. I didn't even touch my gin, so I'm gonna go and down that now. I don't know why I find that so stressful. I had a dog jumping up on the counters, trying to eat the cheese, but it's fine. We're there, we're done. I can now enjoy the night and hopefully it is good. left 
you off last night where I was making tea for the whole family. I went down a treat, it was actually really nice. It turned out probably better than I thought it was gonna turn out. I think I overthink it when I'm cooking and I think everything's gonna be rubbish and it actually turns out okay. Yeah, it was enjoyed by all. Today, I have a virtual wedding, so my cousin's getting married, which will be lovely. I don't really know what to expect for a virtual wedding, to be honest. Because we're at home, we didn't see the point of dressing up like how we usually would for a wedding. So, I mean, I've done my hair, makeup, probably not as much as I would usually wear for a wedding. I'd probably have false eyelashes on and things like that. I've just gone for this, like, dress and I've got some tights on as well. Some black tights to be comfy. So it's sort of a dressy dress, I suppose. This was a Topshop one from years ago. It's a wrap over style dress. Um, I've had this for probably like four years now, which is mental. And I think I've maybe three and a half years actually. And I think I've only worn it a few times. So it was time to crack it back out again and wear it for today. And you know, stars, of course, stars, stars, lots of stars. Yeah, so we'll see how what today brings. Have some Prosecco probably. Cheers to the new married couple. Drink the night away. We're not actually doing that. It should be a nice one. I have on my lips. I'm finding all these old lipsticks that I've not used in ages. This is my Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, and this is in Opium Noir. So I popped this on all over my lips with a lip brush. So that is this gorgeous shade. As you can see, it looks quite dark in the bullet, but it does come out slightly lighter. And it's sort of like this. I don't even know what colour. Opium Noir. Dark berry pink red i would say sort of blue undertones as well i suppose yeah put that all over the lips which yeah i like and then in the middle i popped on just a little bit of the jeffree star skin tight just to sort of lighten up the inner the inner section of the lip and create that voluminous lip that i do not have and it still doesn't look very voluptuous but you know it's the best i can do with what i've got i don't actually support this guy anymore but I'm not gonna waste the products I already own, so I try and make these to them. Once they've run out, they've run out and I won't repurchase. But yeah, that is, that's the combo on the lips today. I'm pretty chuffed with it. I've got all my jewelry on, rings, choker, necklace, all misoma, misoma, however you wanna say it. That's the outfit of the day. I've got my comfy tights on. We're just gonna be sitting about and actually it feels a bit strange, it feels a bit strange because you should be getting ready and you should be all dolled up to the nines in your heels and I don't know, I don't know what it feels like. But yeah, it should be a good day though and then I'll see my puppy later. Yeah, congrats to them. Ooh, I'm a bit bright, there we go. Yeah, happy Sunday folks. I'll sit down in my little spot. Here we go. Yesterday, we had the virtual wedding. Um, my cousin got married yesterday, which was lovely. A nice little virtual wedding. So they had their little intimate ceremony. Everyone else got to watch over Microsoft Teams. Um, so we could all have our cameras on and sort of wave to them and wish them best wishes and things like that, which was really nice. My grandma, she's in a care home, so she wasn't able to go either. She was on one of the cameras. We couldn't be with her either, which was quite sad because she was getting quite upset and um it was yeah we were all crying uh because we wanted to be there for her and she was getting very emotional yeah, it was a good day a few drinks some nibbles and yeah it actually felt like such a long day i was up so early yesterday because we were just in the house we're doing stuff but we're in the house it felt like such a long day it's also felt like a really short weekend because it's now sunday and it's almost over but it's okay because i'm off on friday and then i'm off for a week so i'm quite chuffed about that because i pick up my keys on how exciting! Stay tuned for that. That'll be next week's vlog. Today, gonna be a pretty chilled one, I think. I'm gonna go and walk the dog. We're gonna go down the beach um, and take him to pets at home. I've never taken him to pets at home before, so we'll see how that goes. I can imagine he will run. He will be chaotic, especially if there's other dogs about. Maybe never do it again. But hopefully, the walk down to the beach will tire him out and then he'll be fighting around pets at home. That's the day. <music>
So I am just back from my dog walk. We ended up going down the beach. Um, I'm gonna pop you down here. Um, yeah, so we ended up going down the beach, which was nice. We ended up out for like, well, I've done 131 minutes of active activity and I hadn't done anything before that. So I think we were out for that long. So my feet are killing me because I was in boots. I should have wore trainers. <laughs> Typical me, I always do that. Casper had a great time, he loves the beach. Took him to pets at home, which he actually did really well there. I thought he was gonna go crazy. He was actually pretty well behaved. He kept finding like underneath the shelves that there was stray treats. So he'd clock onto that and chuck himself under the shelves to try and get the treats. So that was quite funny. Yeah, that is basically it. So I'm now gonna have some lunch. Um, I'm just gonna have some picky bits, throw a leftover from yesterday, like patty, crackers, uh, hummus and veg, things like that. And enjoy the rest of my afternoon. I'm gonna start one of my new books, just have, you know, a cup of tea, enjoy it before work tomorrow. Yeah, that's, uh, that is my week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.